You can't stop a train. That was the next lyrics out of uh, Andre there. That's that's bombs over Baghdad. That's outcast. I am Chase. I am the stock Sherpa. I'm crushing the market right now, guys. Uh, I am also the YouTube portfolio manager, Chase at Everbullish, the president of Everbullish.com. Go to Everbullish.com. Follow the Sherpa. Let's do it. You guys ready for the best trades of the week going forward? It's been three weeks since our last uh, Sherpa's list came out. The reason is, is we've been killing it. We've been crushing it. We've been learning. I've been getting more messages from bulls that made money this week. Um, and last week in particular, flipping my lab U and ERX rinse and repeat trade to perfection. I as well just made some trades last night and this morning. If you follow the Instagram for Ever Bullish, you'll see those trade tickets. Remember, time and price is not a di uh, discretionary. These are non-discretionary trades. It's your discretion to buy or sell. Um, but I show you when I do, what I'm doing, how it works, so you can learn. I'm teaching you the tools of the trade. Um, and I appreciate the follows. This means everything to me. I know it's not much for you, so please give this channel a like, a subscribe, and a thumbs up if possible. But let's get to it, huh? You guys want to talk about what works, what makes free money while you're sitting in your office on a Friday? Take your dogs for a walk? I do. I did. Here we are. We're not trading at all. Uh, I'm sorry. We're not hedging at all. We're trading our asses off, but we're not hedging. Um, if I have to, I'll jump back into shorty anytime I want. Remember, that's in our quiver now. That's an arrow that's in our quiver. Um, Everbullish.com. Remember, click on the Sherpa's list on the right side. Got ahead of myself there. Sherpa's list on the right side. Go to view post. Here we are. So here's the deal. Won't hesitate to get back into shorty next week if I have to. Lab you. When it drops below 70, you buy it. If it drops even more to 50, uh, 50 I'm sorry, 60, you buy it. Easy rule of thumb. Lab you drops below 60, market isn't going haywire, buy it. Uh, if it drops below 55, buy options on it. Cash those options at 40% like I did last night. Put the trade ticket on my Instagram. Again, go follow. And then I bought ERX. ERX is up a little bit today. LabU came back down. I put more money into LabU because it came back down below 60. It's that easy. When this stops working, we'll stop doing it. But until then, let it be an easy trade, baby. Right? Um, so that's the LabU ERX combo trade. If you need help with that, I am here to help. Text me. Call me. Uh, Instagram. Email me. Buy me a cup of coffee for the time if you don't mind. Um, I know how much money you guys are making and I'm proud of you and this is going to keep you guys going. You learn by doing, not by reading about it, right? Other big thing, <clears throat> ERX. Um, the ERX 55, uh, that's not the right number. The ERX 25s, I'm going to have to update this. The ERX 24s and 25s for October are the easiest money out there right now in my opinion. If you look at what uh, oil prices did, they dropped from 74 at the high mid last week down to 65. Big deal. Next week, next day, they came back up. Stocks only came back up a little bit with them. Remember, these mega cap stocks, which are inside of ERX, the Chevrons, Exxons, Hesses of the world, they know what they're doing and they hedge high prices and low prices. So they're getting an average cost somewhere in there and they're profitable above $70. Um, I do understand the COVID uh, Delta variant plus and, and the regular Delta variant now. Um, maybe shutting some things down. I don't expect it to stop people. Uh, I believe the uh, train has last, left the station. The horse has left the barn. The cat is out of the bag when it comes to that. Uh, I don't want that to be the truth, but um, you know the lockdowns aren't really working now. And there's a lot of libertarian states in the South. Uh, that are completely open and won't shut down. So that, I think that just means more driving, more vacationing, uh, summer months coming up, or fall months rather coming up, football coming up. If you watched the Hall of Fame uh, game yesterday, Cowboys got smoked. I love that because I'm a Texans fan. Uh, anyway, back to stocks. ERX, we have all the way until October um, of this of this year to have ERX go above 27 with or 26 or 25. Buy them in the money. Buy them at the money or in the money. Um, follow my Instagram for those tickets. You'll see them. Those are free money. Okay. Um, same thing as a couple weeks back, but I updated it a bit, especially due to the news. I look stupid in this hat. Um, especially due to the news, right? Delta Airlines. Bullish, 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 bullish on Delta Airlines. Up. I talked about up. I got into up a little bit too early. I told you guys I was going to get into it up, up when it was around 10. 
up is UP Wheels Up Corporation. It's a private jet uh, leasing corporation. Um, I believe that the shutdowns are going to help it. I believe that the low, lower than usual hedged oil prices from the past mean that jet fuel is cheap. So they're going to have large margins. I believe there's something sexy and in becoming more increasingly affordable about um, middle to high income one percenters just want to travel by private jet. They're not dumb enough to buy their own anymore. Now they just lease them. There's multiple companies out there, but the Wheels Up Corporation at $7.50 is a Sherpa. A Sherpa best bet, a Sherpa multiple buy for the week ahead. Um, and also just long term. I also talked about Match.com. If you recall, the last Sherpa's list I talked about, Match.com, Match, the dating service site. They also own plenty of fish. They also own a couple other dating service sites. People are locked up. People are horned up. People are ready to get out there. Apparently, they've had growing subscribership and usership, um, and they are absolutely crushing it. If you looked at their earnings that came out there on, was it Thursday? Yeah, because today's Friday. They're on Thursday. They murdered it. Um, I feel like I'm telling the future here, guys. Follow along. I have SPCE on here. Uh, this is the SPAC, uh, Galaxy Virgin Galactic SPAC, whatever we're calling this. This is um, the Billionaire Space Travel SPAC. I've told you before, I don't believe in them. I don't necessarily think that they're going to do very well. Um, but I do think that there's so much dumb money, Reddit money, um, optimistic money, Elon lovers and kind of these tech nerds, a lot like myself. They just want to see it happen. And um, the Robinhood crowd buys dumb, sh dumb stocks, right? Everybody knows that, um, including Robinhood. So SPC is to see where the dumb money goes. And that's why it's on the list. We're going to get to that later. All right, Yeti. I've talked enough about this one. If you follow me, you know about Yeti. You've made multiple, multiple, triple bag, 100% profits, 1,000% profits. If you followed me from back in my day when I was uh, back in 2018, when I originally started Ever Bullish before the lawsuits and all the other BS that came along, Yeti, if you've been following, triple bagger, multiple triple, triple bagger. Told you about it when it was at $17. And at that point, it was already up 40%. So do the math. Okay, we're going to replace this with this video here in a second, but let's just get to it. Here it is. Here's what it is. I'm going to fire quick on these. Um, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. We're going to start, guys. We're going to start with the bottom and move our way up. So at the bottom on a Friday, when the market really doesn't have a direction, when the market's volume is very low, Start at the bottom of your watch list and ready list to, to see what you're gonna buy. That's a very, very, very good pro tip, okay? No vax, vaccine stock, tech stock, kind of a tech stock, kind of a biotech stock, kind of a healthcare stock. Uh, it was up like 30 something percent the other day. Now it's down 18, probably a decent dip buy if you wanted to. Lab U, we made 11% in that yesterday and I got out. Um, I bought more today, just now. If you look at my Instagram, you'll see the trade ticket. Lab U, it's below 60. What are we doing? It's below 60. Neo, I keep this on here to get the gauge on Chinese uh, mega caps. And also it's a cool company. And also they're dominating. Um, I don't trust any Chinese company. I've told this before. I've gotten burned too many times on Chinese companies. They're uh, pretty much intrinsically, culturally, um, it's acceptable from a cultural level to completely mislead the bookkeeping of your company in China. Uh, what I'm getting at here is that you just can't trust their accountings, even with the biggest firms, even including Alibaba guys. Uh, and that's kind of wild to say, even Tencent, even Alibaba, I just don't mess with them anymore. I got burned too many times. I have Workhorse on here because when it gets just cheap enough, I'm gonna buy an option about six months out and just wait for it to pop. These EVs go back and forth. Remember, I got the EV sign on the wall. On the other wall, I've got the ride um, Lordstown, number one stock pick of the year that turned to uh, you know what in a handbasket very quickly. Still love EV. This is how I gauge them. Square, I told you guys it was going to happen. It happened. Everybody buy me a cup of coffee for that one. I mean, come on here. Um, completely called that, dialed that. My first video about Square, the hardware wallet, Jack Dorsey, Bitcoin, the whole bit. I called it all correctly and I called it back in my video in June. So two months ago, we called this. I saw it on Motley Fool two days ago. That's the ever bullish edge. That's the Sherpa baby. All right, QS, got a question from my boy Steve about this one. QS, yeah, probably not a great stock. You know what's gonna happen though? People are gonna buy it. 
there's enough behind this. There's Bill Gates behind this. He can send out a tweet. He can do a press conference. He can get in the news. Has to do with battery storage, the EV revolution. It's, if you look at the heat maps, there's just no real heat there right now. I think we should put a, a, a player in that position. I think that we should fill that position. So I like QS, especially at 21. Remember, I take this thing from 24 all the way up to 32. Done it multiple times. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing it until it stops working. Ride. Ride's a piece of shit. Never trading right again. I keep it on there to remind me what a piece of shit it is. I know a lot of you guys have it. Sorry. Told you to get out around uh, 10 and that I'd rebuy around 8. I rebought around 8. Saved you 2% there. Um, but the fact is, is Ride is just a completely unacceptable um, stock to own in your portfolio. They have a tremendous product. They have a tremendous space. They have a tremendous segment. Um, but they have been misleading investors all the way around. And this is like the fifth or sixth or seventh truck manufacturer EV stock to do so. I just think it's foolish. I hope you make money in it. I'm out. Um, and I keep it on here so that I have to kind of get my face rubbed in it every time I check my list. Shorty. Shorty's the hedge I told you guys about. Tesla. Tesla's back on as a buy. Tesla's sexy again. Elon's got his sexy back. Um, they're doing great things down there uh, in Poco Benito, which is down here in South Texas. There's a lot of talk and a lot of buzz around here where I live about that. I think that all of Elon's companies, including Neuralink and, um, and the uh, Boring Company and all of the other ones, I think they tend to move um, kind of with PR. So I like Tesla right now quite a bit. NVIDIA, I got a deal for this one. Aaron <clears throat> is one of my followers out there, one of my original OG bulls, a uh, good trader in his own right. He asked me about um, no, NVIDIA. This, he asked me about AMD this morning, but I'm just going to talk about it like I have in the past. I like NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going to hit 900. Well, it used to be 900 split adjusted. Would that be 300? NVIDIA is going to hit 300 at some point in the next year. I just don't know when. But what I do know is that it's got enough volatility and NVIDIA and AMD trade very similarly. Remember that. They're microchip manufacturers. They work in gaming as well as computing. Y'all know what they are. Semiconductor, right? Well, what they do is they uh, are just so reliant and tied to correlations negative two interest rate moves in discussion just like big tech okay so if you want to buy it buy it hold it long term no it's going to move too much uh than most people are comfortable with that's why i like soxl so much but going back to the nvidia and the amd great stocks for a long term better stocks for a trade buy with limits underneath the current price and you will make money if you put your limits above the price that it passes it's that easy this is the volatility you have to have as a trader uh, welcome down days. Um, welcome down days. Typically on a down day, if you got a good one and a good stock, you're cashing a gain. It's going to trigger the sell and then you'll be able to rebuy the next day. Follow the share put, buy better shit, right? Okay. Laser, L-A-Z-R. I don't care about that one. I don't even know what's on here anymore. A-V-G-R. This is a YOLO bet. I don't think it goes much lower. It's at a dollar, uh, just less than a dollar. It's at 94 cents right now. I can see it at a buck 30, buck 40 at some point in the next year. Um, I would sprinkle there, um, or if you just see a huge down day, buy it and try to get a bounce. Try to get a dead cat bounce um, or just a, a sell-off bounce. I have Apple on here just to see what dumb money is buying. I haven't traded Apple um, by itself um, since 2016. M-E-L-I. Add that to your list. This was a tip from a friend. M-E-L-I is a pretty awesome um, kind of contrarian gamble. It's also an international stocks a stock. You know, I don't love those. It's an Argentine company that provides e-commerce services to Latin America. Um, COVID has forced Latin America to industrialize rather quickly uh, when it comes to, I should say rev revolutionize, not industrialize. Technically, they have revolutionized to the point where they're actually being able to use e-commerce like DoorDash, Uber Eats, all that type of stuff, but they're more mom and pop because of the e-commerce capabilities. M-E-L-I is a big mover. You can lose a lot of money on it, particularly when it's uh, not currency hedged, which it's not, but um, I think it's worth a gamble and I think it's a noble cause. I think it's a good idea to maybe put our money uh, where our hearts are, or at least my heart is, love South America. Abvi, that one's a great stock. That's going to go up the rest of the year. And it also has a sick dividend clip, like a 5% dividend clip. So when it goes down, your yield is getting higher. You can buy more if you're a dividend investor. Uh, that is also in the ever bullish dividend portfolio, by the way, which has been selling off the shelves because it is killing it. So go buy it. Um, get on the winning team. I have GoEV on there too, because GoEV is a very neat um, 
California-based EV company. Uh, if that thing drops below five, I'll buy it and just wait for EV to get hit, make some money on it. CPE, Calum Petroleum, we've seen it up in the 50s. It dropped into the 40s. I thought it was a buy. I think it's even a bigger buy um, right now in the 30s. So $32, Calum Petroleum, have no problem for anybody that's also bullish on oil stocks. Go all in on that one. Um, you're going to catch a lot of big updates on that one and enough to trade. Um, okay, Ethereum, Sherpa baby. What did I say? Scream from the top of the mountains less than a month ago. If you want to beat the market next month, forget everything I say by Ethereum. I believe, I also said I believe, I believe it will go up over 33, 133%. No, it'd be 33%. What am I saying? I told you when it was at, um, when it was at uh, $1,900 that it would go to $3,000. Right now it's at $2,700, guys. It is that easy. Keep your ears open. Don't listen to the news. Follow your gut and trust the market and watch it like a hawk like I do. Wake up at 2 and 4 in the morning like I do and screenshot commodity and uh, currency prices. When you got this type of love for it, it's not work anymore. And again, we're chilling here on a Friday in the AC with our dogs and uh, I'm going to go float around the pool in a minute. So if you want to live the life, you got to kind of, um, not kind of, there is no half step and you got to jump in the pool. I'm teaching you how to do it. LC, Lending Club, talked about that in my last video. Missed that one. Had it on the list, didn't buy it. It jumped like 42% in a day and it was up 33% in the month of last month. It's the pawn shop. I did not like that. Okay, uh, my phone didn't like it. Maybe I was getting too preachy. Uh, phone ran out of space, got too many podcasts on there, too many videos, but we're back at it. LC, Lending Club. Lending Club and SoFi are going to trade together. Lending Club jumped, like I said, 33% last week, um, uh, last month that is. I think SoFi is going to go with it. So SoFi is a big time buy too. Callum Petroleum, we already talked about. Activision. Kind of watch that one to see what's going on. I like it when it's um, somewhere in the 70s. Score, SCR. We talked about this being the big time catalyst the big time mover what's going to make a lot of money in the next couple of years with their agreements as far as sports gambling goes especially with the complete internet legalization of sports gambling for canada the score jumped 78 percent uh yesterday and hopefully you own that you're welcome a couple of my bulls out there what up josh uh josh owns that one and uh he's going to take his gambling money that he made on a gambling stock and go to vegas and gamble week one of the nfl so i think that's super dope EOG, Devin, Plug, Riot, Merrill, Rival, SoFi. You know the rest of these. Go to everbullish.com and find the rest of these. Um, carry it around in your pocket. If you need stock ideas, if your friends need stock ideas, like I said, it means nothing to you. It means everything to me. If you give it a like, give it a follow, give it a subscribe. I love doing these. I'm going to do them either way, but I'd love some validation to know that it's all working. Most importantly, go buy yourself a portfolio. Fire your advisor. You're going to save yourself tens of thousands of dollars over the long run and you're going to learn how to trade it's not teaching a man to fish it's not giving a man a fish it's showing the man where the best fisherman fishes i just made that up and that's good so uh stick with it love it the sherpa final thing sherpa just came to mind i'm also a regionally known sports gambler and sports wagerer with football i'm going to be putting up some of my picks uh, and I do keep all my records. It's very likely that I'll start a, uh, a trade, um, not a trade, but a stock uh, as well as sports um, category here in the future. You may see it on YouTube. So if you do see it, uh, maybe the stock Sherpa and the sports Sherpa will see. Within that vein, I love DraftKings. DraftKings, the score, and there's a company called Paysafe, P-Y-S-E. Back in the day, some of you guys out there may remember if you ever did gamble online with Ultimate Bet or Party Poker, you had to use a service called NetTeller. NetTeller was kind of like the original um, secured credit card authorization service that would allow you to use gaming websites. Well, now that they're getting famous and popular, famous, they're getting popular and legalized, I should say, Paysafe is handling the process uh, the processing of funds for a lot of companies there's discussion with DraftKings. there's discussion discussion with pin gaming there's discussion with the score the win and even legitimate casinos so paysafe is a sherpa 
triple by, top of the mountain, skip the nose route, go straight to the top of the mountain very easily, uh, and you don't have to exert yourself climbing, or in this case, trading. Uh, I took that metaphor too far. You guys got it. I'm Chase, ever bullish. I hope everybody has the greatest weekend. Um, I'd love a cup of coffee. Go to my website, buy me a hypothetical cup of coffee. I text back. I pride myself on getting, um, being extremely interactive with all my customers and even just followers alike. So hit me up, send me a DM, shoot me an email, buy one of my portfolios, pay it forward. We just crushed uh, another week of trading when the market was basically flat and we're talking double digit returns and telling you how we're going to do it and how we did it. So Chase, ever bullish the stock Sherpa? What do we say? AFG, LFG, LGR, let's get rich. Great weekend, bulls. Great trading, bulls.